Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is Friday, April 26th, and this just arrived a little while ago. Um, the old gentleman I saw the other day, um, he thought I was going to come pick this up, but uh, I told him I had to remind him. I said, no, you, we agreed that you would deliver this thing for another 40 bucks. So, you know, I did what I had to do, but anyway... So here it is. It's going to unfortunately have to sit out here because I haven't got the other machine moved out yet. Um, there was just a little bit of a fiasco and, you know, rushing around at the last minute. Things didn't go the way smoothly like I thought they would go. Um, I had too many, you know, conflicting things happening at the same time. So hopefully I'll get this in tomorrow, though. Um, I'll get the, the Whirlpool pulled out and then put over. This machine um, needs the new balance ring, and I have it right here. This came from Whirlpool yesterday, or Genuine replace, Replacement Parts. They delivered this yesterday, um, so that's cool. Whirlpool Corporation, um, excellent. So I'm just going to have to put that on there. Uh, and probably going to sell this machine. Um, or, keep, or just keep it as an extra direct drive, because, you know, really thinking about it, that time is moving on and we're getting farther and farther away from these you know it's like it's already how many years about 12 or 13 years now since the last one of these was produced um i looked at this machine the code on it it's from 2003 so it's a little over 21 years old um so well Anyway, I wanted to show this machine. This is a Whirlpool Gold Ultimate Care 2. This would probably be the equivalent of the Kenmore 90 series at the time. And it's funny, I, I bought my first Kenmore 90 series back in 2003, the same year this was made. Um, so this is probably the corresponding, Whirlpool's corresponding model to that. Uh, cool, you got the load size selector here. Um, Yes, warm, warm. I wish it had a hot warm, but I'm not complaining. Warm, warm is just fine by me. Um, th this is cool. This has got an end of cycle signal on it. So, and, you know, the extra rinse. Um, you've got a choice of six speed combinations here. Very nice. Love it. Um, and this, and here's your cycle and everything. Uh, you know. Uh, the body and top are in pretty good shape. I mean, of course, a machine this old, there's nicks and a little, you know, some nicks and some chips, slight, slight chips. But overall, I think the body's in better shape than this machine. Um, this one isn't too bad, though. It's really, you know, considering these are old machines, this machine's uh, six years older than this one. So this was Whirlpool's, I think this is the style that they changed to after that style, this was the style that they, well, obviously they did since it's a later model. I mean, I remember it, remember seeing these on Sears floors back, whew, and I was like, wow, they, they changed the control panel. They used that slant control panel for years, decades. Anyway, let's look inside. And here we are, the typical dual action agitator with the white tub. This has got some stains. I think that can come out. I think I, I might be able to get this out. I saw a little bit of it coming up. But if you look down here in the tub, there's this like, I don't know if that's the glaze or what. Or It don't feel rough. It doesn't feel etched. It's still kind of smooth. So that's good. But uh, yeah. I think this might be a time bleach dispenser. Um, I'm kind of hoping it is. That would be cool. But uh, I'm going to get some Whirlpool touch-up paint here. I guess this top isn't porcelain. It tells you it's got a porcelain steel wash basket. Usually it'll tell you if the top is porcelain. But uh, the top is heavy. The top is thick and heavy. So it's nice. Um, there it is. It's, I'm going to pull this agitator and uh, clean it out because it's... It's a little, it's a little funky underneath, and uh, you know, 
yeah, that definitely needs to get cleaned up a little bit. So, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Um, there it is. Um, the agitator's moving fine. Wonderful. Uh, I did the spin. Sounded like it was going good. Well, actually, let's. Well, I don't want to do that now, but. Eh, why not? Do the spin, Pat. Come on, show the people. The funny thing is, I don't. Oh, what do I have it set for? That's that's what I did. Ah, uh, no wonder why. Okay, dummy. All right, let's try it again. All right. I think these things did 6.30, I think their spin was, 6.40, right around there. I don't know, this don't look like it's doing that fast though, but. Quiet though. It is quiet. All right. Yep. So there it is, folks. Um, hopefully later today, or well, it's definitely not going to be later today. I can tell you that right now. There ain't nobody around. So, and it being it's Friday, um, I know my buddy. He's he's. He's about 45 minutes away from me, but he's he he's, he works two jobs, so he's going to be tired when he gets home. Um, hopefully, I'll get him down here tomorrow. Um, he wanted to work with me on, on this machine. Um, so maybe we'll just do that tomorrow, get the tub rim, ring back on it, and I don't know. Why not have two machines? What's that noise? Oh, okay. Yep, so there it is. Oh, the extra ones. That's, that's what that buzzing was. All right, guys. God bless.